hello welcome back to this video so in this video i'm gonna be walking you guys through convert kit it's gonna be a complete beginners convert kit tutorial that you can watch in 2021 or even in the coming months of the year so what we're gonna be doing is i'm gonna be walking you guys through step by step how to use the free convert kit account and i'm gonna be showing you how to build your email list i'm gonna be giving you the best free traffic sources you can use to build this email list so you can see this is a demo account i created a couple of days ago and you can see here on the 23rd i got one subscriber and i'm gonna be showing you the traffic source that i used for this very account so what you're gonna be doing is we're gonna head over to the menus here at the top first of all there'll be a link for convert kit down below so you can head over down there click on the link get a free account it's free a full disclosure is that that is an affiliate link i get paid only when you upgrade to the paid plans of convert kit so if you're under a thousand subscribers i don't get paid but i only get paid once you upgrade to a, pay, a paid plan so you can also head over to joshlamek.com slash convert kit to get the free convert kit account so i'll say it again joshlamek.com slash convert kit to get the free account so the menus here are very simple they have the landing pages where you can create a landing page or a form then they have the subscribers one where you can see your subscribers i'm not gonna reveal the, the, the subscribers for this video because i wanna keep these emails private and then we have the broadcasts then we have uh, the products then we have uh, the land section so for our case since we are using the free account we are not gonna have access to the automations one but it's free so i understand that point so i'm gonna let's go ahead and create a landing page in convert kit so to do that we are gonna head over to create new here right here where it says create new So once we have clicked on that one, then we should be able to select the, te the template by clicking on landing page right here. Then we shall see a bunch of templates right here. I will leave a link to one of my blog articles about ConvertKit that will show you the best uh, highly converting landing page templates that you can use for any landing page you're creating. So they have a bunch of easy and simple landing page templates that you can use which are highly converting converting depending on the traffic source you are sending to the landing page but it doesn't matter whether the traffic is high quality or low quality the landing pages will still convert so the one I that um, i'm gonna list a couple of, of few that i know that i convert very well there's this abby one it converts very well the actual one does also then i like the maple one i think it's the maple ones as we scroll the hudson one is also a good one it, it is simple and it converts very well then the maple one the park one is a good one you, if you can customize it very well then um the sliding one is also a good one though it is complicated and you need to have some uh, images you need to format it very well rather rather, rather than otherwise it won't uh, appear nice and appealing for your visitors so for some reason i can't find the maple one. Oh, okay here it is so the maple one is also a good one and yeah i like it because it's very simple and it converts very well it has uh and and for this very example we're gonna use uh, this one for this very example so let me show you so let's click choose right here then it's gonna load up the template and uh, we're gonna be able to customize so the first thing we need to do is to need we need to change the name of this not to say maple landing page so what i usually do is when i'm gonna send traffic to a landing page i usually give the landing page the same traffic source i'm gonna be using because you will have a bunch of landing pages in your landing pages section so you need to give it a, a name that makes it stand out against all the other landing pages you'll be creating in the software so for this example i'm gonna give this one test youtube video for example then they have this image here so to customize this image you can click on it like that then you can replace you can uh, download upload images from your uh, pc or you can uh, upload uh, 
you get images from instagram or unsplash so for this example we're going to go to unsplash and look for a simple image that we can change for this example so let's say we are planning to build an email list that is interested in um in keto diet so we can search something along the lines of keto to see what they have okay so they have these uh, images here so we can go through and see which one is more appealing to you so i like uh, this one here so we're gonna go ahead and choose this one that's gonna change it up for us so i'm gonna give you an ex a, a way to get to create your title so when you create your title you should always think about uh, what what makes you stop scrolling so what makes you really get hooked when you look at the title so when you're creating your title you really need to capture the attention of the person who you have sent to the landing page so let me give you an example of a landing page over the top of my mind so a good one can be how to start keto keto diet with no meal plan so one thing that we should know about the keto diet when you are getting to the keto diet you need to have a meal plan they usually give you a meal plan so this headline is, is showing your visitor that they can start the keto diet without the meal plan which is strange so they will get they'll get curious and say okay i really need to know more about this how to start the keto diet without a meal plan so they will go ahead be more curious more curious and they will click on to the button here which will ask for their email so what we're going to be doing is uh, you give them a little bit of a teaser information then you can say discover how jane started keto diet without uh, a meal plan started the keto diet without a uh, mm, strategic 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 meal plan so something like that so we can keep it very simple oh my spelling is so bad okay so then for the button we just need uh, to, to, to keep the hook going or the loop going so we can say find out more so find out more now yeah. so that can be the first button they see then the other one we, we need to customize the step two so the step two is where they're going to give us their email and this is what we need so so you can go ahead and say you are almost there just enter enter your email your email for the best strategy to start keto without a meal plan i hope you get the idea so for this one ensure that the images are congruent so you just head over here and uh, choose the same image keep it congruent then the email address so you can change this and say yes yes show it to me so something like that it doesn't have to be complicated the simpler you keep it the better your learning page is gonna perform and i'm gonna be showing you where i got the traffic for those land for those two email subscribers i got in just a couple of days so once we have we have our learning page ready and we feel that uh, this is the best landing page we're gonna be using what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the settings right here up here so click the settings what we need to do is we need to redirect these people to an external url so if you have uh, an external page that uh, or an affiliate link so for this example since we are talking about keto there's a keto product on clickbank or any other affiliate network you can find you can just add the url here i don't recommend the thank you page because uh, most people when they get to the thank you page and uh, they realize you're not giving them uh, something that they enter their email for they will just exit the page so what i usually do is i just send them straight to the offer that's gonna show show them this but 
while adding them onto our email list which is more important so i'm gonna just enter example of a digital affiliate link i have saved in here then i'm gonna go to advanced here so what you need to do this one is um, really important what you need to do when somebody subscribes to the form or that has already subscribed to the form we want to hide this so we don't want to show the same form to the same person who has already entered their email so when when they enter the email they will not get and they decide to go back they will not see the form again so you can check that you can also play around with these other features but that's what i usually do so for the seo and analytics you don't need to do anything with that then we're gonna head over to the domain name so when you create a, a brand new dom a brand new convert kit account you will need to set up your domain url and that's gonna be so that's gonna be your url that you're gonna be using for all your landing pages so once again so what we need to do is we need, just need you to set it up it's free you don't need to buy any domain name so we're gonna head over to the general here and we we can check everything through to see if it's working then for the incentive email you can choose to send an email um when you get a person to your email list i usually send them an email so that they confirm the email to add them onto my list so for this case i'm gonna keep the same the similar incentive email that they have on convert kit as, as the default one for this landing page just to keep the video short so we're gonna save this and then we can preview it here to see how it's gonna look like then uh, when we click here they will ask for their email so if we are happy with that then we're gonna exit the preview then we're gonna head over to the share icon here then we need to grab this URL so this is the URL we're gonna be sending all the traffic to so we, first of all before even we grab that URL we need to save and publish uh, this landing page so once that is something to to always do so ensure that you save the changes so we click it once more so you can see right here it has a landing page has been saved it will take a few minutes for the changes to become live so if we open that in a new tab we shall see that it's still on the default one oh it has already updated that's good sometimes it takes a while so this is a landing page we're going to be sending the traffic to so let's head over to the to convert it again then i'll show you a little bit about these features so for the broadcasts i have a bunch of broadcasts here then you can see that uh, i've been sending a couple of emails to these very these people on this list and uh, i'm just testing out different headlines and different uh, subject lines sorry to see which subject lines really do work well for specific audiences so once again the subscribers that's where you see the list of your subscribers and you will see how many emails you have sent them how many people have unsubscribed so to the people who unsubscribe it will gray go into the gray area here just so when people unsubscribe from your email list you won't be able to send them any more emails so that is something to know then now uh, for the broadcast to create a broadcast it's simple head over to broadcast click on create a new broadcast right here and uh what you need to do after that you just need to give it a name so ensure your name the subject line sorry is catchy and it entices you yourself to open up the email so if your subject line is not good and appealing people won't be likely to open up your email so if you want a video on uh, how to create uh, amazing email subject lines you can uh, let me know and i'll make that video as well so an example i can do is how to get to get lean on to get lean with no keto with no keto diet so ensure your your subject line picks curiosity and people are more eager to open up your email so i'm not gonna sh take time on the broadcast because uh, it's gonna make the video longer and i need to show you the traffic so so once again there will be a link for convert kit you can get that down below so they have the creator pass here which is uh, i think is very good so you get up access to a creator a creator learning uh, it's sort of like a, a community where you can learn more about convert kit people share their stories with convert kit success stories which is good and you can get inspired 
and stay focused with your, your journey of building an email list. So for this landing page here, the best traffic source that I recommend for such offers, let's say Keto Diet her Beauty offers is Pinterest and uh, Tumblr. So those, those traffic sources are good for those sort of uh, niches. So the traffic source that I used was uh, Google Sites and uh, I've made a video about Google Sites, so let's head over to let's head over to YouTube. Type in YouTube here, then we're gonna head over to the search bar and we search for Google Google Sites. Let's go to Google Sites. Okay, let's just look for this. Boom. Then go to my channel here and open it up real quick. Then we're gonna go to videos. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, just click the red button right here until it turns gray. Put the bell on so that it it, it alerts you every time you, you want to see the video. So the video I'm talking about is this video right here. So this video here will show you. So just click on this video and watch the video. I will show you exactly how to get traffic using Google Sites. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or you can message me on any social platform that you are very conversant with so i'll be able to answer all your questions so this is the video and this is how i was able to get that uh, that free traffic to those landing pages and if you have many google sites out there and they're generating for you traffic on autopilot the more pages you can create the better is your chances of building your email list so that is it for this video and it's gonna do it once again subscribe if you're new just click on the red button here until it's uh, it turns gray then click on the bell here and then go ensure that all notifications are on and i will see you in the next